bodyguards are they are built upon skill and talent and thoughtfulness and self-knowledge but they are also built upon service and that is something that I I have always felt deeply in my soul music is just one of the paths we can take to celebrate and encourage and sometimes censure if we need to the the culture that is unfolding through a thousand tiny baby steps as we all live here together and we live here together even when we are scattered small decisions sometimes can make a huge impact nigh some 30 35 years there were fewer kingdoms then there was the west where it all began it was the east there was the middle kingdom between the two and in that day at a crown tournament a brave noble by the name of sir hugo von Feuerke won crown for the honor of his lady lady caitlin stewart they were both young fresh-faced full of ideas in those days, the SCA was not entirely human. <laughs> we are talking the, 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 the very ancient days indeed, when the Fey folk still were known, sometimes to even be barons and baronesses of our, our world here. Sometimes a vampire would show up <laughs> in full garb at an event. <laughs> not exactly historical, but certainly done with fun. Caitlin Stewart looked around her and she said, Well, I sit upon the mid realm throne, but I would like to see history. We do wonderful things with the history that came before. Why do we not celebrate it? We can leave those strange tales of the supernatural to other places. And so she agreed that for the time that she sat upon the mid realm throne as the Dragon Queen, she did not want to see elves or creatures from Tolkien or other strange non-humans. This seemed like a small decision, and yet it was not. Many people were very invested in this, this fantasy that they wanted to play at the same time as all the history. And, and many harsh words were spoken, both near her and behind her back. But Caitlin stood to her principles. It was said amongst the rumor mill that as she came to the very last event that she would be the sitting queen, it was the custom in those days, but not the requirement, that all queens, once they stepped away from their duty and their service, that they would be given induction into the order of the rose. But they served. They served so much and they gave so many things to their people. <coughs> and the rumor started to go around. The ladies of the Rose had met. And they did not think that Queen Caitlin Stewart perhaps should be part of that order. For she had made some very controversial decisions. She had done them for the good of our community. And as an experiment to see what we could become together. And so on the final day, when the next king and queen were going to be crowned, and she sat upon the dragon thrones for the last time, until her descendant later on again ascended the thrones, Caitlin Stewart sat, <laughs> knowing these rumors, but being queenly and graceful in spite of them. And it so happened that throughout that morning, some, we're not even sure where these came from, but some of them had brought armfuls of roses from the countryside. And as she stood there surveying the day's festivities, quietly and without fanfare, occasionally someone would have a rose, give her reverence, and lay it at her feet. And walk away. And then perhaps a few minutes or perhaps an hour later, some other people would come up with a rose, lay it at that queen's feet give her reverence And so a silent message was given to their queen 
that though it was controversial, it was appreciated that she had tried something. And I was not there, but I wish I had been for near the end of her time as the queen. A group came up. They were human. They looked very much like the elves and vampires who had been seen in previous weeks. They all came up in human guise and with white roses. They gave her reverence and they laid them out. And so was her time done as queen. It was many decades until Queen Caitlin reigned again in the mid-realm. And in those days, there was a young bard named Marion who lived in the far north reaches of what was then the Middle Kingdom, uh, the Middle Kingdom's Principality of Elderly, now our own. And I heard this, and my mind started to wander. And I thought, what a proud thing to know that your principles had changed the world and made so many people happy in following the years. I'll tell you a tale of when time had no meaning, when legend and history walked hand in hand, when the swords of the mighty had bested the dragon, but the elven still walked in the land. White Rose, Queen of the Summer, White Rose, the Queen of the Fall, White Rose, the new guard will follow, White Rose, the old guard will fall. The sun and the moon were fixed in the heavens, the whole world grew weary as summer stood still. A queen of great courage and the heart of a dragon set her throne above the elf hill. White rose, queen of the summer, white rose, the queen of the fall, white rose, the new guard will follow. said, look around you, time should march on. I ask you to bow and make history the victor, for the day of your legend is gone. White Rose, Queen of the Summer, White Rose, the Queen of the Fall, White Rose, the new guard will follow. People approached her to offer their blessings. Each brought red roses to lay at her feet. Then the Alvin came forward to lay their last blood work, white as the summer's defeat. White rose, queen of the summer, white rose, the queen of the fall. Cycles of time weave the world in their circles, and the flower crowned queens are among us again. While the elves have their place in the verses of legend, but not in our history of man. White Rose, Queen of the Summer, White Rose, Queen of the 